I'm going to be talking to you about liquid measures. I don't know if you can see the chart behind me very well. It shows cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. But if you can't see it, that's okay because I'm actually going to give you a demonstration. I know you've probably all seen a, a cup that looks similar to this in your mom's kitchen. This is not an ordinary cup. This is not the kind of cup that you use to drink out of. This cup is used to measure ingredients like sugar or flour or even a wet ingredient like milk. This is a pint. This is the same amount as two cups. I know your mom probably wouldn't do this, but if your mom was to fill this up twice with a liquid, she could pour it into here and it would be the same amount because two cups is the same amount as one pint. Two pints is the same amount as one quart. Let me do that again. Two pints is the same amount as one quart. Did you know that if your mom went to the grocery store and she had a recipe that called for a, a quart of milk and she couldn't find a quart of milk, that she could buy two pints and it would be the same amount as one quart? I've had to do that before. Isn't that cool? All right. Four quarts is the same amount as one gallon. So you could buy four quarts and it would be the same amount as one gallon. 